You know, in the beginning of the semester, I had a good conversation with our brother Tom Wanandi, and uh, towards the conversation, there was a point that, that he said to me, uh, you know, Saul, I think that you are like Francis, uh, when he heard the voice of God saying, go repair my church, he started to collect stones uh, to rebuild God's church, meaning, you know, just out of the great seal that he had. Uh, and then, you know, that image just uh, stayed in my mind for, for a long time. And until now, you know, I, I, sometimes I meditate on that image of, you know, I just see uh, Francis going crazy, you know, pick, trying to pick up the best stones to repair God's church. And with this image, I want to start this, this uh, reflection, this image of the major legend of Bonaventure. And I would like to, to reflect uh, and to perhaps even project this image to all of you. You know, you too are like Francis, picking up stones to rebuild God's church precisely because we have heard His voice and I believe that we have heard His voice, that's why we are here. Uh, and, and every day we try to pick up stones, whether it is to uh, pray or to do certain things to show our love for the Lord. And like Francis, the Lord has called each of us to gather stones and we are here because we love the Lord. And the church is always a community uh, with many members and all of our works and efforts are in, never isolated and sufficient by themselves. I just got back from Novitiate and sometimes I, you know, I just think I, I, know this, I know exactly the stones that I need to pick to rebuild God's church. But how deceiving is this uh, for me to think this way? Because nobody knows the stones, exactly the stones that the Lord is calling us to pick. And it is easy to, it looks simply to say, you know, the Lord is calling me to pick these stones right now at this point in my life. But in fact, I, I remember, I want to go back to what uh, Ross reminded us uh, in his reflection. Unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. Unless the Lord guards the city, the watchmen keep awake in vain. And I can picture Francis praying and discerning with great seal, you know, again, what is struggling, you know, is this the, the stone that God wants me to pick? But even now, all of us here, it is the same community of Francis is struggling to discern God's will as a part of the church and how beautiful it is uh, for me also, I am grateful to God to be part of this struggle, that we are here together to discern God's will, in which tongues God is calling us to pick today. Then I thought, uh, what are the stones that we are discerning and are struggling to pick each day to reveal God's church? Well, Jack here just Pick the, the most important stone for us uh, this morning. He raised the Eucharist, and that's uh, I think one of the most precious stones that we have. So little and yet so uh, center in our life. Andrew uh, McCarthy told to us about a precious stones of silence and how silence can be for us a way to going back to hear His voice, to hear what stone is it that the Lord wants us to pick today. Carlos told to us about the stone of the sacrificial law in fraternity, 
And how is it that we go back to make these sacrifices, even when we are busy in studies, to be aware of our brother's need? And Francisco lifted the stone of the sense of forgiveness, that stone that makes us go back to the love of Christ. And our brother General Mauro, also in his last letter, show us the stone of our own identity as Capuchins. And he said that a, a strong sense of belonging to Christ and to the Church as Capuchins is what really make us go back to this identity as Capuchins. And we talk about discerning these stones and but then, you know, that we have a temptation of picking up the wrong stones, those stones that, in the words of our guardian, will, you know, will be something like, they're no good, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm speaking from my own mistakes, from the stones that I have picked while I'm being information. You know, resentment, laziness in studies, superficial pleasures and gossiping or sarcasm, even the multiplicity of choices that we make. And just going through the motions, thinking these are the stones that God wants me to pick because these are the stones that everybody else is picking. So we just stay in the shadow, in the superficial. And so I think that uh, the Lord invited me to to share with you this uh, rediscover the new sense of discernment. A new sense of discernment that goes deep of belonging to Christ is not a discernment that comes from my own superficial genius, but a discernment that comes from that voice that we strive for the more and we want to love Him who is the more, but let us remember that the stone, which many times we, the builders, have rejected because of our witness, now continues to be the, the cornerstones. In the Eucharist, we come back again and again and again to find our cornerstones when we want to put ourselves as cornerstones. <laughs>